1972, UTSA students who were taking courses at the temporary facilities at the Cogra Center had to go to special lengths to get library materials. They would search a microfilm catalog of UT Austin's library holdings and then place a request. A courier would travel to Austin on a daily basis to pick up the loaned books and periodicals. UTSA's first director of libraries, Michael Kelly, had a big task ahead of him. Get 300,000 books, subscribe to 3,000 periodicals, designate study areas, media rooms, and all the other trappings of building a brand new library. He had four years to get it done. President Peter Flan was all in. He acquired UTSA's first special collection, the R.D. and Margaret Warden Collection. But before JPL opened, the P.E. building served as a temporary library space. Six weeks prior to the John Peace Library's opening in 1976, trucks delivered 4,100 boxes containing 150,000 volumes. 30 library employees checked in, sorted, and shelved the books. Kelly's mission was accomplished. It was UTSA's largest building at 225,891 square feet. Kelly's tenure at UTSA ended in 2005, but his legacy lives on as a guiding force behind the creation of the JPL and downtown libraries.